Go, Jackie. Thank you, uh, just to follow up on the pardon question, is a commutation also still off the table? For who are you, ta who are you talking about? Oh. I, I, no. I, no. I mean, we're not, that's not what we're going to do. You had said on Air Force One that uh, the president would, would not consider a commutation of his sentence. Yeah, that that, you're saying that still yeah, stands? Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. Uh, and then I heard you earlier in the briefing talking about um, the pandemic's role in the outcome of this election. Mm -hmm. um, and it sounds like that is being looked at uh, <coughs> internally as potentially one of the causes of this outcome. But Richie mm -hmm. Torres, the congressman, tweeted, Donald Trump has no greater friend than the far left, which has managed to alienate historic numbers of Latinos, blacks, Asians, and Jews from the Democratic Party with absurdities like defund the police or from the river <coughs> to the sea or Latinx. Is the, is the administration, the campaign, the Democratic Party looking at the pandemic as the cause rather than, is that easier so than looking in the mirror? Well, so look, let's step back here. I think I've been, and the president and the vice president has been pretty clear in understanding that the American people have spoken and respecting that. I think we have tried to be incredibly respectful of what happened two nights ago. And we're going to continue to do that. And I'm not going to speak to every person in the Democratic Party who has an opinion or a thought. I'm, I'm just not. Uh, it is not something that I'm going to do. I talked about um, th the political toll on incumbent parties around the world as a data point, right? As something that we have seen pretty, consistency, pretty consistently with G7 allies uh, in this time. And obviously, one of, the re one of the things that occurred was the pandemic. It did. It caused disruption. It caused the supply chain uh, to be disrupted and led for and, and caused the economy to be turned upside down. While we put policies and we are, in fact, leading the world on the economy, it doesn't stop it doesn't stop the fact that in, there it has been a political toll for incumbents. That is something that I'm telling you as a data point to share, because we know that you guys would have questions. That's a data point that I'm using. And I'm also saying that there's going to be election experts in the next days, weeks, months, who are going to, again, looking under the hood, kick the, kick the tires, trying to figure out exactly what happened um, two nights ago. And so there are the pundits. They're going to speak to that. They're the experts. And so we'll have more information as they look at the data. And so we'll, let, we'll, we'll leave that to them. Uh, and so I'm offering you our perspective, our thoughts, how we're going to move forward in the next 74 days. Uh, and I, I think what Americans should be assured of is that this is a president that's going to put the American people first. That's what people can be assured of. happening at all inside, though, because as as Gabe mentioned, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, this administration message to millions of Americans that they're going to wake up the day after the election if Trump won and have their rights stripped away, that democracy would crumble. And the president said today we're going to be okay. <coughs> so how do how do you square I, that? I, I can square that. I'm going to square that in a way that hopefully makes sense, because I've been answering this question uh, multiple times. The American people made the decision. There was an election two nights ago. There was. And it was a free and fair election. And we respect the election process. We do. And Americans spoke. And so the job of the president is to make sure we respect that. The job of the president is to make sure that we have a peaceful transfer of power. That is what the American people deserve. And that's what we're going to, it's, it's really, it's not complicated. It's truly, truly as simple as that. As simple <coughs> as that. The president called, the president-elect invited him to the White House. You know why? Because that's customary. That is customary. That is what you do. If you respect what the American people decided, that's what you do. And that's what the, pre the president's going to make sure that the Trump transition has what it needs, which, which is being led, obviously, by our chief of staff here. Why? Because the president wants to lead by example. It's not complicated. It really isn't. Uh, and, you know, so that's important. Example is the message to people who are fearful based on what the messaging was about the I, state? I, I, <coughs> well, now you're just twisting everything around, and that's really unfair. No, it clear. is. No, 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 Jackie, it's unfair because. I've been standing here 
trying to be very respectful to what happened the last two nights, uh, two nights ago. Being respectful. I've been standing here saying that we respect the decision that the American people made. I've been standing here and saying that the president's going to put the American people first. I've been standing here talking about how the, Amer the president's going to make sure that they get what they deserve, which is a peaceful transfer of power. I do not appreciate having my words twisted. That is, I am being very clear, very, very, very clear about what the president wants to do and the vice president. We want to make sure that we deliver for the American people. They deserve, they deserve a peaceful transfer of power, and that's what you're going to see. Thanks, everybody. Have a good idea.